welcome along to uh, Bloom Tube, and uh, this week we're going to do one of my. Um, I'm a bit obsessed with dolphins. Um, I don't know if you've looked on Bloom Chat, that's a Bloom forum that I run. Um, there's loads and loads of dolphins, all variations, but this one I'm going to show you is one that I generally go back to and make in the real world. So here it comes. There he is. <laughs> all right, so this is my uh, dolphin that I make in the real world. All right, so what you have to do, uh, you inflate a uh, 260, uh, leave about uh, five or six fingers uninflated, and we're gonna do the um, his nose. So you need about um, a four finger bubble and a three finger bubble. And you tie the knot around the three finger section, wrap it around a couple of times and push that through a couple of times to make sure that it's nice and secure because you don't want it to come undone. Right, there we go. So one is slightly bigger than the other one. Uh, you then need a uh, squeeze air along, you need an eight finger bubble. All right, this is for part of his body. And then two two finger pinch twists. So there's a uh, two finger bubble, squeeze air along a bit, another two finger bubble. These two get twisted together. So uh, hold these like this, twist this section into here. And then take the balloon and go over the top of the two. You do that twice, and gives you two nice uh, pinch twists, and the towel section is going to go on there a bit later. Now I'm going to match this up, so just bring it back, squeeze here along a bit, and make another eight finger bubble. Now at this point, I pull the knot back up towards the two pinch twists. So get hold of the knot, pull that back up, and then twist that bubble around. Um, it makes it the nose and the body all connect a little bit better. All right. Uh, you're then going to need um, another eight finger bubble. So measure it for eight finger bubble. So there, and a two finger bubble. All right. That two finger bubble goes around the pinch twist, and that is all you need on this balloon. All right. Wrap right that round. Deflate this is your favourite method. I'm sorry, I use my teeth. All right. Not very really nice, I know. Um, you're now going to need um, the uh, the underbelly of the dolphin. You could do it in white, but I prefer to do it in um, in ivory. Now, if you connect this knot at this end, um, you want this you want clean lines here. So I always connect it here, where you've got with the pinch twist, you've got more places to hide the connections up. So twist this around the two pinch twists. and then you just want two eight finger bubbles backwards and forwards. So just measure. Eight finger bubble. Only go round the uh, nose once of the dolphin because you want that to, um, you know, you don't want um, too much here to spoil the look. Uh, squeeze the air along, another eight finger bubble. That goes uh, into the two pinch twists. And get rid of this. You know, this time we'll, uh, look at that. We'll snap it off, tie these together. And I think I've got the scissors there. I might actually get my scissors and uh, look at that. How professional. <laughs> scissors. I do use them occasionally. All right. So we should be looking a bit like this. Uh, in a minute, this uh, bubble is going to be pushed uh, down into there. And that gives you your look of your dolphin. All right. Well, that's done it in a little while. Uh, we're now going to connect to the, the towel of the dolphin. So what you have to do... Get another uh, 260. Uh, this one's got about four fingers uninflated. You need uh, two small one finger pinch twists. So uh, just a small one finger bubble there. Uh, another small. And uh, the knot goes around the second section. Again, over the top, split those uh, two bubbles into two pinch twists. There we go. That's gonna be the center of the towel. Uh, squeeze the air along, you need a six finger bubble and a four finger bubble. All right, that's going to be one side of the dolphin's tail. Put that into the two pinch twists here. And match that up on the other side. So squeeze the air along, six finger bubble, four finger bubble. And uh, that goes into the pinch twist. You have one of the pinch twists on the top. And uh, one on the bottom. And just uh, flip this around. Obviously, because I'm doing it in front of the camera, it's not going to do it as easy as it normally does. 
two is away. There we go. <laughs> We're there. So you end up like this, and that's the uh, the tail of the dolphin. And then I generally do a six finger bubble. Um, I find that that's uh, long enough for the uh, dolphin. That goes um, onto the two pinch twists. Then we need a, um, a four finger bubble and a six finger bubble. Right, that's for the dolphin's fin. And that's all we're going to need on this. Uh, so uh, this second twist goes around this twist here. So just push that through there. I'll do it a couple of times to make sure it's uh, locked in. Deflate that in your favourite method. And then uh, I do tie this in and off to make sure. And then uh, that back round a couple more times. Get rid of the uh, excess balloon. And um, once you push this, open up the two eight finger bubbles here at the sides. That gets pushed in. And you can see that sort of now, um, there we go. Um, the tail of the dolphin, I try and put a shock twist in here, just to give it a, a little, just a little uh, shock twist there. It just gives it a little bit of a uh, movement, I think. So we're starting to get it there. We need um, some uh, fins at the side, and um, those I do um, five finger fold twists. So I have a little, um, Two finger bubble, well, just over a finger bubble there, and then a fold, five finger fold twist there, and squeeze the air, and another five finger bubble. Now that's all you're going to need on this. Uh, so make sure the um, one finger bubble is twisted nice and secure around those two fold twists. Get rid of the uh, excess of the uh, 160. We'll just try that up for. Uh, safety reasons there we go and you can see that like this with the bubble at the top you get that look for the um the dolphin's fins so they go in there oh i forgot to say this uh the knot the end of the balloon here gets tied around this section here this where that twist there is all right so you push those in there pull that end of the balloon up there and just tie that in. It just helps to secure it so that the, uh, the side things don't um, come out. There we go. I also then angle the fins, give them a little bit of shape to go uh, uh, slightly to the back. There we are. And then you could put some your eyes. Now I like to put the dolphin's eyes in black. I don't know why. I just it makes it more striking to me. So you need um, a three-finger bubble. I'll use a 260. Uh, twist that in half. There we go. Now this bit here where I'm twisting, I twist it a few times to make it a little bit uh, longer the, the balloon there because you want a little bit of give there. So twist that a few times. So hopefully you can see there's a little bit of a give there. Tie these up. And then I may well use my scissors again. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we're going to. <laughs> See, I'm a semi-professional today. <laughs> so the bit where you've got the uh, the bit of slack that goes to the back of the dolphin. It's just a push bit. And, uh, there we go. Looking, uh, about right and there's your um, dolphin hope you like it and uh, if you could subscribe that would be great if you want to see all oh, must be 15 or 20 variations of the dolphin if you look on balloon chat there's a thread with loads and loads for some i do make a lot of dolphins okay so thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you again bye